सो वॉट्स अ पीपल वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी क्रिएटिंग बिग क्वेरी डेटा सेट्स एंड बिग क्वेरी टेबल्स यूजिंग टेराफॉर्म सो एज यू कैन सी हियर देर इज़ नो डेटा सेट एंड देर इज़ नो टेबल सो वी विल स्टार्ट राइटिंग आउट टेराफॉर्म स्क्रिप्ट हियर आई हैव फोर जेसन फाइल इन दैट जेसन फाइल आई हैव स्की मास फॉर माई टेबल्स सो आई विल स्टार्ट राइटिंग माई टेराफॉर्म फाइल सो आई विल नेम इट मीन डॉट टी एफ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई नीड टू स्पेसिफाई अ प्रोवाइडर हियर सो आई नीड गूगल प्रोवाइडर बिकॉज आई विल बी यूजिंग गूगल क्लाउड सो हियर इन साइड द प्रोवाइडर द गूगल प्रोवाइडर आई विल स्पेसिफाई द प्रोजेक्ट सो आई विल कॉपी माई प्रोजेक्ट आई डी फ्राम हियर यू कैन सी सो आई एम कॉपिंग दिस आई डी एंड आई विल पेस्ट इट डायरेक्टली हियर एंड आई विल स्पेसिफाई अ रीजन सो लेट से यू एस सेंट्रल वन एंड नाउ I will start writing my locals. So uh, let's keep it empty for now. So now what I need, we need a resource for creating data sets. So I will add a resource. I will name it Google. Its name is Google BigQuery Data Set. BigQuery Data Set. You can see, and uh, for name, I can say Data Sets. Now here I need to specify. data set id right so for data set id i will say let's say we don't need to create only one data set here let's say we want to create multiple data sets and multiple tables for each data set so what we need to do here we need to add a for loop here so how we can do that so in locals i will specify a variable or in above i will specify a variable let's say variable data sets and let's create a terraform var file so let's say terraform dot tf vars and in this tf vars file we will specify our data set our data set list and our tables list right so let's say data sets is equal to i will open a map here so we will add all the things inside a map and inside a map i will start writing let's say this is my data set 1 and my data set 1 will have some tables so i am starting a list here so in this list i will open a new map and in this i am specifying table id let's say table 1 and now i am specifying a schema file so every table will have some schema and i will have the schema inside the json file so what is uh, my json file name for schema 1 you can see table 1 schema.json table 1 schema.json and here i will add another map for table 2 i will create table 2 also inside the data set 1 let's say table 2 and schema file will be table to schema dot json now let's start writing our second data set so for the second data set we'll start a new list here for data set 2 equal to new list and here we will start a new map for a table for new table and let's say table id is equal to table 3 right and what will be schema file schema file will be table 3 schema dot json so uh, just like this i will create one more data set so i will name it data set 3 and this will be table 4 and this will be table 4 schema dot json so this is our variable list here so now from this i need to take these variables inside my main dot tf right so from for data set id from where i will get the data sets id from that data data sets variable list right so here in locals i will specify data sets data sets is equal to var dot data sets right so here we are taking data sets from variable so we have data sets and here we will add a for loop so data set id i will add each dot key let's open a new for loop here let's see for each 
is equal to locals dot data sets and here I will add each dot key why key you can see in data sets variable in data sets map every key is our data set name it is data set 1 it is data set 2 it is data set 3 so here I am adding I am taking key as a data set ID now we need to create tables also so how we will create tables first of all I will flat all the tables list I will fetch all the tables list I will use a flatturn flat turn function from terraform so if you don't know about the flatten function you can see here so what flatten function will take it basically takes a list and replace every elements to the one list so here you can see if you pass some different lists to this flatten function so it will take those all the all the things inside a list and create a only one list here so here you can see so what we will do here so inside this we have a lot of lists right right list items like data set 1 data set 2 has a different list so we will take all these lists and we will combine them so using flatten how we will do we will add a for loop here for data set id and tables in local dot data set right and here we will start a nested loop for table in tables and in this what we will take table in tables you can see here so we will take data set id will be data set id right so this data set id will be this thing this id right and for table id we will take also table id so for table id where will we take table dot table id you can see here data set id is this and table is this so from table dot table id and table dot schema file will be schema file so here schema file will be table dot schema file so this will be combined as a one list here now we will start a new resource for creating tables i will name it google uh, sorry, I, I will not name it. It is named by Google itself. So BigQuery table you can see and for name I can set lead as like tables and now here we will add a new for each loop and here we will start a map and we will add a for loop for table in local dot tables. So what is tables? This tables list which we flatten here now local in tables here we will start the loop and here I will say table dot data set id dot table dot table id right will be a table right now we will pass a data set id from where each dot value dot data set id so you will see we are getting a data set also data set id also in this flatten list so we will fetching it each dot value dot data set id and table id we need to pass table id from where we will pass each dot value dot table id and schema we will pass file because we are fetching a content from a json file so we will add file function here file each dot value dot schema file right and we will add a depends on list here and we will add this data set so that our data sets will be created first after the data sets we will create our tables now let's initialize our terraform terraform init So our Terraform is initialized successfully. Now let's run plan. So plan is successful. Now run apply. So 
so our three data sets are creating now our tables are creating so our seven resources are added so now if you we go to the bigquery console and let's refresh it so you will see here our three data sets are created and also tables are created so table one table two are created inside the data set one table three is created inside data set two and table four is created inside data set three so this is the whole terraform workflow we can use to create data sets and tables automatically inside gcp bigquery so thanks for tuning into my channel i hope you found the content valuable don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos thanks again and i will see you in the next video